Now I think it's time to announce this year's winner of the Stockholm Uni Water Prize. So let's bring all the finalists on stage. <laughs> the team from Argentina. <laughs> Australia. <laughs> Belarus. <laughs> Canada. Chile, China, Cyprus, France, Germany, Israel, Italy, Japan, Latvia, Mexico, Netherlands, Norway, Republic of Korea, the Russian Federation, the team from Singapore, the team from Slovakia, South Africa, <laughs> Sri Lanka, Sweden, <laughs> Turkey, Ukraine, United Kingdom, United States, and Vietnam. <clears throat> so, may I please ask your Royal Highness to please enter the stage? This year, the jury has decided to appoint not only a win winning project, but also award one other project with a diploma of excellence, consisting a diploma and an award of 500 US dollar. So here is the envelope with the motivation. Please, Frederick, do you mind reading the motivation? So, <clears throat> before we then announce the winner, here's the Diploma of Excellence. This year's Diploma of Excellence is awarded to a project that reflects a refreshing new way of systems thinking that is highly needed for future sustainability. The jury was very impressed by the independent nature of the investigation and especially the innovative approach to conducting the experiments using equipment adapted from items readily available in the home environment. The principle of this detailed project is inspired by nature and will soon be applied in a much larger context. A real-world example of industrial symbiosis in a developing country. The Diploma of Excellence go to the team from Sri Lanka. In this envelope, we have the winner of the 2011 Stockholm Junior Water Prize, who will receive a diploma, an award of 5,000 US dollars, this beautiful glass sculpture, and an invitation to attend the WEFTEC in Los Angeles in October this year. Frederick, do you mind read the motivation? Okay. You guys nervous? <laughs> I am. This year's winning project reflects truly out-of-the-box thinking to find a solution to an important and real-world problem. 
that is relevant both in a developing and developing, developed country context. It is the result of a creative, multifaceted, and long-term effort that was triggered by an actual problem in the local community. It has the potential to revolutionize our ability to monitor water quality in a way that is fast, accurate, more flexible, and less expensive than existing technologies. The winner of the Stockholm Union Water 2011 is the team from the United States of America. Thank you so much, Your Royal Highness. Thank you so much, Fredrik Moberg. This competition has not been possible to fulfill without our sponsors and partners. And first of all, I really like to thank ITT Corporation for your being part of the Stockholm Union Water Prize for so long time. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And then we also like to thank you all our other partners. We have Hertz, we have Hailbop, we have Profil Companies. And